Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed all of age systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have you covered. So before we get into some action for May 8th in NHL, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools that you need to make your picks. So we're into the first round of the NHL playoffs, so let's take a look at all the games in store for May the 8th. There's four games. The Carolina Hurricanes and the Boston Bruins. The Hurricanes enter the contest burning hot versus average down. You see Carolina has won their last six. The Bruins have lost their last three, and they're three and three over their last six. Boston enters as a 1.88 to 2.068 favorite. And if you look at the uh, over-under lately, both teams have been involved in games over the line. Boston in six of their last six, and uh, Carolina in five out of their last six. Good indication for a high-scoring game. And the score prediction of four to three in favor of Boston with 84.8% level of confidence. Uh, pretty much goes along right with that trend. If you look at the power ranking indicator, see Carolina has been steady at plus 31, while Boston was at plus 28, and they dipped over the past week down to plus 22 due to that three-game losing streak. The consistency factor, how well have they been performing with a, regards to their favorite underdog stats? Both teams are pretty consistent. You can see here at plus 23 for Boston and plus 19 for Carolina. So how do we think this game's going to go? I think this this game is a game that could go into overtime. It's going to be a great contest, but I like Boston to win at home in a game going over the line. The next game, Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. You see Minnesota's average up coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six, while St. Louis is average down, losers of three of their last four. The score prediction has St. Louis by a 4-3 to three margin of victory with 74% level of confidence. And the Blues do enter the contest as a home favorite with odds of 1.88 to 2.068. If you look at the over/under, you can see that Minnesota has been over the game, over the line in three out of their last six. Although three out of their last four, they have been under the line. Plus, St. Louis has been over the line in five out of their last six games. The power ranking indicator shows a very tight matchup here: at plus 27 for Minnesota, plus 25 for St. Louis. The stability factor, let's take a look at that. You can see here that St. Louis has been less stable than Minnesota, plus 18 to plus 9. So they've been less consistently performing with regards to their favorite underdog status. I do think, though, nevertheless, that I like the Blues to win this at home by relatively easily, actually. I think by about two goals in a game going over the line. Toronto and Tampa Bay. Toronto enters the contest average status coming off of a loss, and they are 4 2 over the last six games. While Tampa Bay is average up, they are 4 and 2 over their last six games and coming off of a win. You notice that both teams have been kind of uh, not trending in one way or the other with regards to the over under. Three out of the last six for Toronto and Tampa Bay, four out of the last six, but just one and one over the last two as far as over under goes. The score prediction has Tampa Bay by a 4-2 margin of victory with 59% level of confidence. If you take a look at uh, the odds, Tampa Bay is a home favorite at 1.795 to 2.180. If you look at the power rankings indicator, Toronto is at plus 30. Tampa Bay was at 27. They dipped slightly down to plus 24 over the last couple of days. If you look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty stable, pretty consistently performing with regards to their favorite underdog status, plus 21 for Tampa Bay and plus 14 for Toronto. Although lately Toronto hasn't been as steady as you notice here that they were at uh, plus 14 back on February the 17th, and they have not been over that since, up and down, up and down, and now back up to plus 14. So over the last couple of months, they have not been as stable, not been as consistent. What I do like in this contest, though, is I like Tampa Bay at home. I don't really see Toronto winning this game on the road, but I would avoid the over-under. Again, Tampa Bay by a goal or two, but avoid the over-under. The last game for the day is Edmonton and Los Angeles. Edmonton is average up, coming off of a win and 4-2 and two over their last six, while the Kings are average losers of two of their last three, including a 6 nothing game against Edmonton, right? 
So it was a very poor performance in the last showing between the two teams. Uh, Edmonton is the favorite, and they're picked to win 3-2 to two by the score predictor, prediction with 68% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows Edmonton at plus, uh, let's see, plus 19, while Los Angeles is slightly above that at plus 21. Team volatility offer shows Edmonton way more consistent at plus 20 compared to plus 11 for the Kings. I think that as far as the scoring goes, I think that the over-under is showing here that both teams have been trending in games over the line in five out of their last six games. I like that trend to continue. I like the Oilers to continue their dominance. I like them to win and cover in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the NHL playoffs for May 8th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.